Jujutsu Kaisen is at its breaking point, and I think it should be cancelled. But why? Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is by far one of the best animated series of 2023. The art style from Season 2 is completely different from the last season. Everyone is happy with the animation. One episode even got the highest rating of the series on IMDb. However, behind the scenes of MAPPA Studios is not looking good. So, in this video, I will explain why I think Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 should be cancelled or go on a break. Because if this doesn't happen, things will go bad for the studios and the anime. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 started very well. We saw some of the beautiful anime animation, and after that, it went on a break. We knew that the series would go on a break as it was announced beforehand. Then the anime returned with the next arc, which was the Shibuya Incident arc, and this is where the problems behind the scenes started to emerge. Over the past month, at least five animators or directors who were part of Season 2 have started opening up about how the situation is very unfortunate because of the production schedule. This is not the first time MAPPA has been criticized for their schedule. Before Season 2, MAPPA had released Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and one MAPPA animator revealed that they had to finish the Jujutsu Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie in just four months. Normally, anime movies take six to twelve months to animate with high quality, and even the animators were surprised that they were able to make a movie within four months. He also said on Twitter that the higher-ups in the studio prioritize results over improving the staff's working conditions. Director and storyboard artist Arai Kazuto from Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 revealed that the staff had requested a delay, but it was denied, and episodes were being animated mere hours before airing, exposing the flawed production planning. Anxiety among animators is visible in tweets of animators like Amphibi, who simply stated Owarida, meaning it's over. Similarly, Sota Shigetsugu, who worked as a key animator on multiple episodes, posted after episode 16 aired. The worst cycle is when the staff members somehow manage to complete a schedule that would be impossible to meet under normal circumstances. While seeing Hell and the higher-ups who only saw the results misunderstand and neglect to improve, thinking it's not that bad and it can be done. On top of that, Rahia Nobili, who worked as an animation director on episode 17, which many people thought was amazing but wasn't even complete, the episode that we saw was only 30% of the intended vision. Think about it. What would the episode look like at 100%? I think if they release episode 18, it will be rushed and the quality will be compromised because of how episode schedules are planned and executed. Also, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Shibuya arc might be cut short because of animators who have run out of time to animate the upcoming episodes. Nothing official from MAPPA themselves, but the animators and staff that work at MAPPA have all complained. MAPPA canceling the series in the middle of Season 2 is very unlikely, but I think at least they should give the animators time to animate. This happened with Zom 100 as they went on many breaks and now they are releasing all three episodes in December. So I think Jujutsu Kaisen should also go on a break and give the animators some time. What do you want? Are the episodes consistent with these conditions or do you want the anime to go on a break so the animators can do their jobs smoothly? So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.